cryptids. <gasps> People from all over the globe have managed to capture images and videos. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the fakest looking security camera footage. Wow, that's some VFX. <laughs> the things that we can use to prove that it's VFX all happen at the end here. Nico. Hi, Sam. It has come to my attention that the world has another plague on its hands. Oh, no. Cryptids. <gasps> the city of Amarillo, Texas is asking folks to guess, what is this thing? So on previous debunk episodes here, we have covered the UAPs and UFOs that live in the skies above us. But there are still so many paranormal moments captured on footage that happen here on the ground. Everything from ghosts, orbs, and today, cryptids. You may have heard of the phrase cryptid before, but if you haven't, it comes from when you combine the word creepy and dude, you get cryptid. <laughs> so cryptids, they, I believe the stages, they go from invisible cryptid to orb to wisp oh. to transparent humanoid form, and then they physically manifest finally as a cryptid. Fortunately, people from all over the globe have managed to capture images and videos. And so today we have a wide array of clips documenting cryptids in all of their various forms. All right, so we're gonna sit back and we're gonna apply our knowledge of camera trickery, visual effects, special effects. We're gonna try to figure out if what we're looking at has been faked or it's something real on camera that's unexplainable. Are you ready for this? Hit me. Let's go. Oh, wow. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> <laughs> like a little praying mantis just, <laughs> just creeping in a driveway. Something like hanging from his mouth or something? Yeah, like a weirdly shaped head. Where are the arms? He, he, the thing that went out of his head, I think, is just his other arm. Oh. <laughs> like this. Each time he turns, that you just, we're just seeing his hand be like yeah. this. Yeah. Sam, that's just a dude in a morph suit. <laughs> <laughs> the creature slash person looks really skinny and like lanky and it looks like their head is like like almost like a rectangle but I have a feeling that's just really compression doing a number on it because boy is this compressed but I really think this is just a person in a morph suit or potentially even naked and they're not really going anywhere or looking at anything like it feels like they're acting they're just doing an intentionally creepy walk well, yeah, as we know, like cryptids, like the way they act is much different than this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would imagine they're stealing stuff out of your cupboards. You know, they're they're like putting like little totems underneath your pillow when you sleep. You know, it's like that's clearly what they do. It's not bad though. It's not bad though. It's it piques my interest though. You know, you watch it and you're like, ooh, all right, I'm 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 into this. Let's give it our final call. Is this a cryptid or cryptidin? Cryptidin. So this video, captured obviously by security cam footage, shows a man being attacked by a cryptid in its proto form, AKA a completely transparent cryptid. It's very shocking. Whoa. Oh. Is that fancy break dancing? Or is that a mysterious force? Let me see, let me see his leg get lifted up again. So a little slippy doo, down he goes, throws that pink towel, so right here, that scoot. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to move like that. So something has to be pulling him around. Something is holding onto his leg. It has like all the signs of a wire pull. Because that is a gym. They do have like, clearly, it's, it's structurally sound enough to hang like, you know, a load bearing like ropes and stuff like that. So you could totally mount like a, a wire or something in that area. When he gets lifted up by the leg, it looks like it's a rope pulling on his leg. And you'll notice the leg pulls him to a spot and then kind of goes up there. So if you were to take the motion of, say, a rope coming from a pulley on the ceiling and going down, the way he gets moved and pulled over to that spot and he's being pulled straight up there, that's the motion you would have from a rope being on the ceiling. If it was a person like pulling his leg along, he would just be scooting along the floor. He wouldn't get like scooted right to the spot and his leg wouldn't go straight up and be like pulled straight up. Also, once he gets back up and he runs away. You can see it with his motion where he's like favoring that foot. But then again, a, a ghost tried to dislocate it. So my guess is that there would just be somebody pulling him around and they're just painting them out, which is like 
the oldest trick in the book when it comes to visual effects. Can I have proof of those visual effects? No, it's so compressed, I don't really have anything I can particularly point to. It's clumsy ghost, like clearly the ghost is there to get this guy. Uh -huh. And yet he spends his time milling around, bumping in the stuff, tripping over balls, like going like, what does this button do? Boop, and turns off a light, you know, it's like, go for, go for the kill. I think that's a crypt didn't. Crip. <laughs> that's a crypt didn't. Is this thing on? Okay. We actually have our own cryptid problem in the studio. There's been reports of hauntings going on. Uh, every nook and cranny of the studio seems to have some weird little janky spirit in it. These spooky little guys are everywhere. Oh my God. Cryptids are here now. These hauntings are really starting to affect workplace productivity. No one can get anything done anymore around here. Luckily, thanks to today's sponsor, Raycon, using these everyday earbuds and their noise isolation feature, I've been able to tune out the cryptids in the studio. I'm now immune to these hauntings. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds don't budge at all. On top of noise isolation mode, they also have an awareness mode that lets you listen to your favorite music, but also hear the world around you. Another thing about Raycons is they come in this awesome wireless charging case. They offer eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of total battery life. That means that I can literally have these in all day and have a full productive work day, undistracted. And the cherry on top is that Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Listen, I gotta go before the cryptids get more bold, but if you wanna get a pair of your own Raycon everyday earbuds, go to buyraycon.com slash corridor crew and you'll get 15% off your order. That's buyraycon.com slash corridor crew for 15% off your order. Thank you later. Oh my God! <laughs> All right, one, we got one more invisible. This is like the fakest looking security camera footage. Like the lights are on. <laughs> like the lights are literally on. And it's green, like night vision. But the, the light, you can see the lights are on. You see the light casting, like they... <sighs> oh, 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 I got the door handle. Oh, Dramatically timed door handle right when it moves, it cut away. It's like, did a ghost move that door handle? Maybe. Maybe. Could it, as another person have done that easily? Yeah. Just like, as easily. Just as easily. More plausibly. Ooh, a shadow. Uh-oh. Oh. Unexplainable. <laughs> <laughs> like that one. Yeah, it's probably, I think that's a mask. That's like After Effects. You're right, looks like After Effects. Yeah, there's nothing about that that like significantly changes the lighting of the environment or shows that the shadow is being cast from any physical source. So obviously, yes, our options are A, a ghost, B, After Effects. <laughs> All right, there see the chair push. Come on, roll that chair. Give me a chair. Ooh, oh, there's, <laughs> there's the chair. Being pulled on a rope. Now, if these chairs didn't move in a straight line towards a fixed point, I would be more intrigued. As it currently stands, it's just like the guy's foot, they're going to a straight point. This is a very young cryptid who's just discovered his psychic powers and it's like experimenting. Ooh, the TV, the monitor turned on. Wow, that's a VFX. <laughs> Wait, let's go, yeah, let's go see it again, let's see it again. So first, props for them for doing reflections in the window. Good for them. So why is that VFX all the screens turning on even though they so lovingly did the screens in the reflection? Well, because the screens cast zero light into the environment once they turn on. Turn on any screen and look at the environment. It casts light into it. Also, LCD screens don't have static. Yeah, first, <laughs> unless they're like switching to a source, uh, like, an, like an analog like re receiver that doesn't have a signal, like there's no way. Static on a screen is from back in the day when your TV was hooked up to an antenna and the antenna would receive radio waves, electromagnetic waves, and turn those into an image. When it wasn't dialed into a channel, basically a broadcasting frequency, it was literally just getting the random electromagnetic frequencies from space, which represents itself as random pixels on your TV, AKA noise. All right, that's cool. You know, what a fun little project for some people to do in that office yeah. on their off hours. Crypt didn't. Crypt didn't. Crypt didn't. This might look like an ordinary gym to you, but at night, it's far from normal. So, 
cryptids, they start invisible, but then they finally gain a spirit, a spirit orb of sorts. And that is, I think, their first manifestation. Kevin installed those cameras a few months ago, but it wasn't very long until he was alerted to some intruders, very strange intruders. What is this freaking like? Orbs! <laughs> Shit. Thankfully, they brought experts in to say these are actually friendly spirits. It's not uncommon for apparently industrial buildings to get perceived supernatural experience. Local ghost expert Mason Winfield. Law enforcement appears powerless to stop it. Law enforcement is powerless to stop Did these friendly spirits. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is very clearly dust just drifting in front of the lens. Yeah, it's like, it's an old building. They turn on the AC. So security cameras have infrared LEDs right around the lens. So when stuff goes by the camera, it catches the light from what's basically a bright infrared flashlight that's right beside the camera lens. So things are super bright when they're right in front of the light. So literally dust or bugs. That looks like dust to me. <laughs> it's just blown by the lens. It's out of focus, it's bright, so it looks like a freaking bokeh, a circle. It's a crappy cameras that are leaving trails. <laughs> you know everybody at the news station knows this is dust. Like, like everyone here knows it's dust, and they're like, hey, the news come, they're sending news people down here and some like ghost experts. So every, everyone come to the gym today so we can all box in the background. Cryptid. Cryptid, yeah. These cryptids, the journey, they started invisible, they've manifested into spirit orbs, and now they're building out their mortal form. All right, are you ready? They're not quite solid yet, but they're getting there. Ooh. This is a person in a bed sheet and <laughs> composited into the shot. Kind of looks like it. Once again, venturing into speculation territory. Could you do this with visual effects? Yes. Absolutely. Very easily. Is there anything that indicates this being visual effects? Yes. It strikes me as somebody having like recorded the shot twice and then like comping them together. No, we're seeing like true 3D motion there. You see how it's like a, a, a below the dash? It kind of like moves up and over. So it's like if you're to do that, you know, you have to track your shot. You, like you have to track your background footage and then you have to add this on top. But in a way, you could totally do that with two plates there. If the perspective doesn't change very much, it's effectively a 2D effect. Yeah, you get the sh you start the shot and you film the ghost, and then the camera's on the dashboard locked off, then you have the person go across, that's your element, you can cut it out, do whatever you want with it, just motion track it back to the shot. This is a very easy shot to do with visual effects. The things that we can use to prove that it's VFX all happen at the end here. Here at the end, the ghost actually goes over a bush that's supposed to be closer to camera. And that's weird. Um, and then it's the masking behind the trees here. Once it crosses the, behind the trees, you can see that there's this like very super sharp dark edge. Now granted, it's a headlight coming from the perspective of the lens. Theoretically, our, our, our light wrap would be that dark on the edge. But still, it's a very defined edge there for what's otherwise very blurry and compressed video. It does strike me as being odd. I like how the ghost is authentically walking. Like, it doesn't float. Yeah, it walks. It walks. It's a walking ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a cryptid. Cryptid and... All right, Nico. Here's our first fully formed cryptid displaying some classic cryptid behaviors. Now it's like she's digging with her hands. Looking at that weird creature there? What is that? Is that a... Looks like she's digging with her hands. Oh, hell yeah, I'm, I'm down for this. This is creepy and spooky. <laughs> I, yeah, it's a cryptid. What are they doing in the graveyard? <laughs> it's uh, pretty creepy. Yeah, so not a creature, just a human being. Just a crackhead. But the human being is doing creepy things. I like it. It's just a creepy dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> that means he's a cryptid. <laughs> oh, we got a cryptid. <laughs> we got a cryptid there. Like, yeah, just a guy. Someone may be on drugs, someone who is, you know, dealing with a mental health problem. Yeah. Ooh, this is a good setup for a creepy video. So let's see what, what happens. Uh-oh. Monster squealed that wave. I'm on the edge of my seat. It's about to get, it's about to get scary. What is that? Dude, what is that? Is that a full-size guy? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. Here we go. Go! No! Run! Run! He's just Clinton Jones. What the f? Dude, come on! 
What the hell? That's a dude. It's just a dude. You're a dude. Yes, look at that. It's like literally his friend <laughs> with like freaking long underwear or something on. At first it was really convincing and then it's just like a dude with his underwear. That's a head crab from Half-Life. Or is that a predator mask? You can see it falling off so he like pushes on it. He's like, oh, I've got to adjust my mask real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they made the mistake of having to come too close to the light. Wonderful video. I quite enjoyed it. It was excellent all the way until the reveal. Crypt didn't. Crypt didn't. On that note, would you like to see the final clip? I would love to see the final clip. Something completely unexplainable. Something so bone chilling. You may never be able to unsee this cryptid. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I hope when my boy is like four years old that he puts a t-shirt on his head and does this in my driveway. <laughs> I know, literally that's a boy with a towel on his head and it's millions of views. <laughs> Has the Dobby mystery been solved? <laughs> Let me say, say the description. Three months after a creepy creature that resembled Dobby from Harry Potter was captured on a home security camera, the question remains, who or what? was it? Some viewers noticed similarities to Dobby, while others theorized it could be Gomez's nine-year-old son wearing underwear on his head. Inside Edition put it to the test by placing underwear on Bobby's head and then asking him to do the chicken dance. <laughs> Wait, I need to see this. He's like, all right, put this underwear on your head. Oh, that's him. Dude, look, look that's at that skinny little guy. It's man. totally him. It's totally that kid. Look at that. The, look at the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Props to Inside Edition for doing some hard investigative the journalism. Hard, yeah, they brought the story. Honestly, oh, the fact they went out there and did that and they got the same shot is rad. Is it Bobby or Dobby? That's the shirt. I, 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 I want one of those shirts. I'm gonna. I want a Bobby or Dobby shirt too. I would love a Bobby or Dobby shirt. <laughs> All right, if anyone knows where you can get Bobby or Dobby shirts, please send a few to Court or Digital. We would so much appreciate that. We'll wear them on the next debunk. Yeah. Not a lot of convincing stuff out there. No, there's nothing convincing out there yet that we've seen. Yeah, I think we decrypted those cryptids today. Some good creepy stuff. Some yeah. good visual effects. These clips are incredible to watch. They are eerie, they're spooky, they're super fun to debunk. And if you have anything that's unexplainable and you would like us to review on this show, send it to debunk at quarterdigital.com. All right. Sweet. Oh shit, there's a crypt dude! It's a crypt dude! Oh, crypt dude! <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs>